Hello again. Today I would like to talk about the material selection for resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis. So usually they are made either with a metal framework or with a high strength ceramic framework. Both frameworks are then veneered with an aesthetic silicate ceramic to have a pleasant aesthetic appearance. The advantage of metal ceramic, so veneered metal, is um, that metal frameworks will not fracture under normal conditions um, in the mouth. The big disadvantage is the grey shine through of the metal framework, especially in the aesthetic zone, in the anterior zone. So if uh, we have a transparent incisor, the metal framework might shine through and make the tooth um, a greyish appearance. Another disadvantage of the metal is that metal flexes. And to prevent the flexing and then also the bonding of the metal retainer, um, usually the dentist has to prepare uh, retention grooves, which prevent the bending, the flexing of the metal framework. In order to overcome the disadvantages of metal frameworks, all ceramic resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis have been developed. They are made today out of high strength zirconia ceramic and with veneered with um, silicate ceramic. The advantage of the zirconia ceramic is that it is strong enough that it will not fracture under normal conditions, intraoral conditions. And even if some traumatic events happened, we uh, um, realized debonds and not fractures of the frameworks. However, it's important that high strength zirconia ceramic is used. High strength zirconia ceramic means that is 3 mole yttria containing zirconia ceramic, not the 5 or 4 mole yttria containing ceramics, which are more translucent, but much less strong as compared to the 3Y zirconia uh, ceramic. And if we compare then the outcome uh, of all ceramics made out of zirconia ceramic and out of metal ceramics, usually for metals, uh, cobalt chromium alloys are used, then we see that we have a loss of restoration, which is in the area of uh, 2% over 10 years. That means um, one out of 50 restorations might fail within 10 years. How does it compare to uh, implant retained crowns? So in implants, about 10 out of 100 crowns fail within 10 years. So the long-term behavior of candidate resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis is at least as good as implant retained crowns. So what is about other materials for all ceramic resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis? For example, lithium TCK ceramic or other class ceramics. There is no clinical or scientific evidence that those restorations will withstand the chewing forces on the long term. So there hasn't been any long term studies published and also the manufacturer of the lithium desicate ceramic, for example, doesn't recommend to use lithium desicate ceramic for cantilevered resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis. Therefore, it is not recommended to use glass ceramics for resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis if you aim to have a long term successful uh, prosthesis. I hope this explanation was helpful and um, all the best to you. Bye now.